I just found out that a billion isn't always a billion. In the Western world, there are two different systems for counting. The word million means the same number everywhere. A thousand squared. Million comes from the Italian milione. Mille means thousand. Ione at the end of a word means big. Milione. Big thousand. A thousand squared. Now, in most English speaking countries, after a million comes a billion, nine zeros. But in most of Europe, a billion means 12 zeros? In English, that's a trillion. So if this number, which English calls a trillion, is called a billion in most of Europe, then what do they call a thousand million? AKA what English calls a billion? Well, in Mexico, that's exactly what they call it, a thousand million. Mil millones. But most of Europe calls a thousand million some form of the word milliard, like the German eine milliarde. Why? Well, a few years before Columbus sailed the ocean blue, this French guy decided we should have names for big numbers. Dope. He adapted an idea that one million times one million should be called a billion, because it's one million to the power of two, and bi means two. Cool. Confused yet? So the prefix bi, tri, quad refers to one million to the power of that prefix. This is called the long scale system. But there are a lot of numbers between one million and one trillion. This guy got tired of going thousand, million, thousand million, billion, thousand billion. So he coined the term milliard. Every increment of a thousand between the illions became an illiard. Million, milliard. Billion, billiard. And then this guy was like, yeah, I like that. The problem is these guys weren't the only guys. There were also other guys. Over the next couple hundred years, really big numbers became more relevant to humanity. But there still just weren't a lot of things that were a million million. Some of those other guys decided they liked the terms billion and trillion, but they didn't like thousand million or milliard. So they decided that for each illion, the number should increment by three zeros, not six. That system became known as the short scale system. So now there were two systems that used the same words to measure the same things differently. Awesome. In the late 18th century, France had finally had enough of this confusion and had a revolution. They wanted to simplify math and science by adopting the metric system and the short scale system and behead their king. At this point, the rest of Europe and the Americas were using the long scale system. But France was very influential in the arts and sciences. So when they switched to the short scale system, a lot of other places did too. The US and France were basically best friends at this point. So when France was like, I'm going on a short scale diet, the US was like, oh my God, yes, me too. But when the rest of Europe gave up on France's idea and switched back to the long scale system, France freaked out and switched back too. By the end of the 19th century, it was official. The US used the short scale system and Europe used the long scale system. A billion in Europe was a trillion in the US. But in those days, Europe included the UK, which meant there was an American billion and there was a British billion. But in 1974, the UK finally jumped ship and joined the US to avoid confusion. Maybe too late for that. Wait, so if the US followed suit when France adopted the short scale system and the metric system, then why didn't the US adopt the metric system? And do mile and million come from the same root? Why well, yes, yes they do. Check out the channel for those videos next.